There we go, Rick James, La Mary Jane, but the, you know, I was thinking, I mean, have I ever dated a girl named Mary Jane? Let me see here, no, 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 I, I no, 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 no. One was named Mary, one was named Jane, but uh, no, Mary Jane together? No, 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 uh, that never happened. Uh -uh. <laughs> Not that I remember, <laughs> right? Anyways, good morning, Double R Radio. Here we are Wednesday morning, live on Facebook. Stop by and say hello, and I'll say hello back and all that other good stuff. You know how it works. Anyways, here we are, hump day Wednesday, right now in San Antonio. We're at 77 degrees. Uh, no rain, well, actually 20% chance of rain today, but later on this afternoon, September the 8th, 2021, 8.54, part of the mañana. Now, uh, that being said, you know, I've got a lot to talk about here. I'm going to talk about something here real quick that I just talked about earlier. And, uh, well, um, I'm, I'm still trying to figure this out, just in case you haven't heard. An Irish prisoner. No? This wasn't the one I was looking for. This wasn't it, but this is another one. We'll go with this one just to make it a little bit different. Check this out. An Irish prisoner has had surgery to remove the mini mobile phone from inside of his stomach. An Irish prisoner. Uh, when did he do it? He'd probably do it. And uh, you know what? I'm not even going to try that joke. Forget about it. I mean, this is a family show. Well, anyway, the 29-year-old Irish prisoner was taken to the hospital after four hours of vomiting. And uh, he claimed to have swallowed a mobile phone. X-rays proved him right. Why would you want to? I understand you're in prison. I get it. I But to swallow a cell phone? Wow. Well, anyways, they claimed that they knew something was wrong when they kept on seeing Ring around the collar. No, uh -uh, that wasn't funny, right? I got you. Now ring around the collar doesn't work. Anyways, um, now the cell phone was was um was uh was uh, uh um what do you call it? <laughs> the 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 cell phone was measured, uh, 2.3 inches long and less than 2.5 inches wide. There we go. So um, they don't know how he acquired it, but the cell phone was an orange and black cell phone. And to make a long story short, um, they were kind of hoping that the cell phone would come out the way other things come out, but they said they didn't think that was gonna happen, so they had to do surgery on the prisoner. Well, that being said, um, the prisoner had to agree, and they did, so they went ahead and did an operation to remove the cell phone. There you go. You know, how how is that possible? I'm looking at my cell phone right now, right here. There we go. There's my cell phone. There it is, right there. I'm gonna like, eh? There's no way in the world. No way. But then again, uh, something of this size. And I never give one time. My prom date told me there was no way. But where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> well, anyways. Uh, <laughs> well, right. So, anyways. Uh, I don't know why people are doing this. Quit eating your cell phones. Enough is enough. Well, anyways, uh, actually, it adds up, right? The guy was behind bars, so you can call it a cell phone. No? Eh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here what's going on. Good morning, John. I'm going to have the double R radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Buenos dias. Also, Debbie Almanza Gonzalez. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Now, that being said, I don't want to talk about cell phones no more. Now, I was talking about this earlier that... Um, I was doing my wash yesterday. I get lazy. Who wants to wash clothes, right? But I had to do it yesterday. So what I did, I went ahead and uh, did three loads of wash. And I'm a kind of guy to where I like to have everything nice and neat and tidy and stuff like that. So um, what I did, um, I bought this box of um, dryer. What do you call them? A dryer sheet, dryer fragrances that when you put your clothes in the dryer, you get one sheet and you throw it inside the dryer. Uh, you're probably going, Robert, we don't give a sheet, uh, uh, but it's okay. Just hang with me. You, you're going to like the story. So anyways, um, I put my clothes in the dryer and I threw in that, that sheet, that dryer sheet, that fragrance sheet, right? And um, this dryer sheet, um, I didn't realize how many things it does. Now, on the box, it said it just says, wrinkle free never iron again i'm lazy and i said that's perfect i don't want to ever iron again i'm going to put one of those sheets in there which i did 
close the dryer, put that baby at 60 minutes. Let me get some coffee here and get some energy. And uh, got that baby started. So um, while I was drying clothes and watching TV, I decided to read the, bo the back of the box of this dryer sheet thing. And uh, I came to, I, I, I stumbled across some information that was really interesting. These dryer sheets do more than just work for your dryer and for your clothes. Now, first things first, the dryer sheets, they make your clothes smell fresh, no wrinkles. I'm good with that. That's awesome. Now, from there, I didn't realize it says dryer sheets also kill roaches. I said, wow, that's awesome. I'm going to put two or three sheets right over here, right over there. That way, it'll kill some roaches. Also, I didn't realize this as well. These dryer sheets are great for coffee filters. I said, man, they think of everything. So now I'm not only going to kill roaches, I'm going to have free coffee filters. Woohoo! But it gets even better. They say with these dryer sheets, you can also dry your car, use them as a shimmy. Man, I'm getting a whole, <laughs> I'm getting my money's worth and then some out of this. Also, it says you can also use them as toilet paper. It says might make your butt itchy, but you'll be okay. That sounds like a winner to me. Hey, man, emergency toilet paper is emergency toilet paper. Also, it says you can use these dryer sheets for napkins in case you spill something or you have guests coming over there you go and just give them there we go the dryer sheet there we go put it underneath there we go uh -huh, you're gonna be good to go and last but not least they say these dryer sheets are great for kids how's this they say if you roll it up into a ball they bounce off the floor i mean i'm gonna have to buy more of these uh, i'm gonna get a whole lot of <laughs> uses out of these dryer sheets I want more. At the top it off, they're only 99 cents. Uh -huh. There we go. Now, let's see here what's going on. Ba -ba. Good morning, Chara Ganata. Stella Gomez. You said, good morning, Roberto. Good morning, Stella. Also, good morning, Chara Ganata. Maru Flores. Every day is Christmas, and every night is New Year's Eve. That's right. Anyways, uh, let's see here. What am I going to do now? Um, football season is around the corner. Now, that being said, um. A lot of people go to football games, and sometimes people don't go to the games. They just go to the tailgate parties. You know, the, the people that are partying out there at the parking lot. I don't think I've ever done that. Um, I've walked through there, but I've never actually had a tailgate party or been to a tailgate party. And um, so that being said, I looked up because I want to know. I want to stay informed. What do you do at tailgate parties? So I'm going to give you some lowdown of exactly what is done at a tailgate party, okay? Because I don't know. I've never been to one. Okay, one thing that you can do at a tailgate party, you set up drinking games. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm not a drinking game kind of a guy. I just, you know, I don't mind two or three beers, but I'm not going to get wasted. Also, Another thing to do at a tailgate party, grill and eat some barbecued food. Now you're talking. There we go. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Also, at a tailgate party, buy a different selection. Buy an assorted selection of beers. That way you can try this beer and try that beer and try that beer. And then you can try that girl. Try that girl over there. <laughs> try that girl over there. There you go. Also, it says to network with the other tailgaters. That way you can... You know, mix and match. Hey, man, I'll, I'll take some fajitas and we'll give you some sauces and some ribs and we'll take some potato salad. We'll give you some arroz over here. That sounds pretty cool. Make friends with your fellow tailgaters. There we go. Also, it says use body paint. Paint your body the color of your team. Well, mine is the Cowboys, unfortunately. And I did blue and gray and a couple of stars and we'll be good to go. Also, tease and make fun of the fans from the opposing teams. Now, this is where trouble starts right here. Right here, man. You start knocking the other team. They start knocking you. And before you know it, you start knocking each other and chingasos and everything. Then you make ESPN and all that other good stuff. Really, man. I mean, it is just, uh, that's why it gets really, really, you know, uh, HBO. 
Let me get rid of this here. HBO was talking about this, and they were saying that these tailgate parties, some of the people that do have tickets never make it to the game. <laughs> let's say let's say the game is at three o'clock. You get there to tailgate at ten in the morning. Psst. Crack open the beer, do a shot, woohoo! Throw the meats on the grill, crack open another beer, another shot, bam, bam, you're partying, doom, doom, 11, 12, woohoo! Game's at 3, we're pumped up, we're ready, I got my ticket, 1 o'clock, more shots, sure, more shots, there we go. By 2 o'clock, 2.30, you're done. Se acabo. <laughs> you go to sleep. Somebody takes the tickets from your hand, and they go to the game. Really, man, they say that a lot of people who have tickets for a game and do tailgating, they never make it to the game. Um, that's why I would rather save myself and enjoy the game, especially when I purchase tickets for it. No doubt about it. By the way, our UTSA Roadrunners, uh, they scored a massive upset, up, upset, upset last Saturday uh, against Illinois, the Pac-10 team. Now, this coming Saturday, they're playing here at the Alamo Dome, and uh, that should be a very, very good game. Anyways, let's see here. Good morning, shout out again at the Rosemary G. Salinas. He said, good morning, enjoy your day. You as well, Rosemary. Anyways, let's keep it going. Let's do something by Yarborough and Peoples. Don't stop the music. Buenos dias. How we doing, everybody? Here we are, Wednesday morning, hump day Wednesday. It is. Got my coffee working right now. Still trying to shake the cobwebs here and get my day started. Uh, let's get back to the morning show. Join me now, RobertRevisRadio.com. Simple, RobertRevisRadio.com. Just click on that media player button, and you'll be joining me in vivo. Orale. <laughs> 